Conor McGregor is doing what he does best, which is running his mouth. McGregor is 5'9", 170 pound Irish guy with a big mouth that some would classify him as charismatic, while others would say obnoxious, and then others would say it's a bit of both. Regardless of classification, McGregor knows how to manipulate. McGregor's recent comments ripping on WWE talent has nothing to do really with WWE. It has to do with getting attention, attention on his name from a very loyal and vocal fan base that he knows WWE has. It's attention from the media outlets like TMZ and Fox Sports who have all picked up with attention because there's a fight coming up on August 20th at UFC 202, which is the day before SummerSlam. McGregor, despite what he might say, is actually a fan of pro wrestling. I mean, come on. How can he be that obnoxious and or charismatic and not be? He's admitted so, though, in the past. He's a fan of pro wrestling. And, of course, it would not be within his character and style to do any actual praising of WWE performers and their athletic ability. No, no, no. Hell, if you ask Ric Flair, McGregor stole Flair's gimmick. No, McGregor is a heel through and through. He is going to remain ornery and confrontational while he's on the clock. So, it comes to the magical question that always arises in these situations when involved in anything in pro wrestling, and it's the need of this question being asked, which is the root of what makes pro wrestling so great and can keep pro wrestling around forever. That question is, let's all say it together, folks, is this a work? Is it all part of a grand plan for a WrestleMania showdown? or a UFC and WWE co-promoted show. If it is a work, very few people know, and they might not even know what the end result is. It's a talk loud, let's just see where we end up. I don't think Ric Flair or Big E or Sheamus or Taz or any of the others in pro wrestling world that have commented and, and fired back at McGregor, I don't think any of them know anything solid. They don't know any any specific big plan for McGregor to be in WWE or for an appearance. They might assume such. They might think such based upon context clues. They may have heard rumblings or ideas in the past, but it's definitely a need-to-know basis. If WWE sat everyone in a room and said, hey guys, here's the big grand plan. Here's what you need to tweet in response to McGregor. That's a big disaster, big risk. Uh, aside from the true plans being leaked out and the risk there, it doesn't come off as genuine and, interest and as interesting as it has. Right now, with so many people being left in the dark, the reason is because these people that are defending WWE because they know nothing other than they see this loud character with two million followers ripping them. So they're fighting back. They probably figure their employer in WWE isn't going to be mad at them at, at acknowledging and defending the brand, getting some attention on the brand. And remember, Vince McMahon is the kind of guy who gets off on this kind of alpha male, stand your ground, wave your flag of pride. It, if, it, if this is a work, it might turn into one. But what it is right now is smart verbal manipulation to promote an MMA fight. If McGregor wins, he continues to run his mouth, and paydays are there for him, and his value goes up. If McGregor loses on August 20th, the pro wrestling universe starts calling him out, taking shots at him, talking about him maybe even more if he actually loses. And then he still has value, and there's still an even greater payday to put him in a WWE arena for, run time, for one time. Conor McGregor is tough fighting guys in his same weight class. And smaller guys, yes, smaller guys can whip the tar out of some bigger guys in real life fights. I've seen it happen. But, the, but, but Conor McGregor, he would run into a reality check quickly if he tried a few of the bigger guys in a WWE or pro wrestling locker room. Connor, just because they fight in a predetermined match doesn't negate them, my friend. In fact, you can make the case it makes them smarter because they're earning more money in the long term with less potential damage, which leaves them more rested to whip your lily red hair Irish ass. If this doesn't happen, maybe WrestleMania doesn't get this match. Hell, let's book Michael Phelps versus that South African guy. If WWE's buried a guy alive, certainly we can drown somebody alive. 999 is all I'm saying. Trib Live Radio. We'll be